Sibeke is a syllabic alphabet made up mostly of triangular characters primarily used to write indigenous languages of southern Africa. It's the product of more than three years' work by linguists, programmers and designers, now showcased to audiences through an art exhibition called Ringa. We are here to showcase indigenous writing systems and how languages from southern Africa are a singularity rather than different divisions that are unrelated. We're saying they're all related, celebrate them, understand them, and learn to read in southern African writing systems. And the main one is this back to Suntambu, but there's many other scripts from Africa across the continent. We're working with the ways we represent language and the ways we see language, not as separate languages, but as one whole flowing like a river and joining and, and, and creating meaning. The geometric symbols of the language are not linear. They are arranged into syllabic units that form patterns made of triangles which represent vowels filled with circles, arcs, crosses and curves, representing consonants. You find these symbols in material culture, uh, so you have like, the Ndebele houses and the way the houses are decorated, Zulupia vessels, uh, the beadwork. So in all our material culture you have these patterns that keep repeating that signify something and have a meaning. And that's where we extrapolated this inspiration into a syllabic script. Really like cool learning experience for us. It's for me. It's about creating a platform for language to pre be presented in a non-hierarchical way. It was a really interesting concept for us to present a space, a physical space, with art, where language is presented as a as an equal. All the different languages. That that's why we have that installation um, of the, the the language rivers instead of a language tree. To, to show the similarities and the, the shared heritage between all the different Southern African languages. This indigenous writing system could soon be recognized by the Global Unicoid Consortium, meaning it could be used globally between computing devices and reach millions of people in Southern Africa and around the world. Julie Shara, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.